What's going on YouTube? It's Lutetium Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB stick with Manjaro installed in 5 minutes or less. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up our web browser and navigate to manjaro.org. From here we can click the download button in the top right and then select x86-64 for installing on your computer. This will then take us to the Manjaro download page for x86 based platforms. You can either choose Plasma, XFCE, GNOME or any of the community desktops that are available but for the purpose of this tutorial I will download Plasma. Click the yellow download button, make sure that the full image is selected and then press this USB icon with the image next to it. This will then begin the download onto our PC. Now I'm just going to take this moment to remind you to like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me to keep creating more awesome content like this. Once the download is complete, we can close our web browser, go to our start menu, scroll down to M, and locate the Microsoft Store. From here we can open it, we can then go to the search bar, and type in R-U-F-U-S Rufus. You should see the Rufus app appear on your screen. From here you can click on Rufus and it will open up the store page. Once it loads, we can click install. Rufus is a free and open source software that allows us to create bootable USBs on our Windows 10 or 11 computer. Once Rufus is installed, we can click the open button, then click yes on the dialog box asking for system privileges, and then go to the device menu and make sure that your USB drive is selected. Now Rufus will completely erase the USB drive and make all the data unrecoverable. So before we click any buttons in Rufus, make sure that you clean the drive of all files and that it's completely empty before we begin. Next, we will click the select button, open our downloads folder, and select the Manjaro ISO file that we just downloaded. We can double click on it, and then we will click the OK button. We will once again ensure that the device in this device box is our USB drive, and then click Start. It will warn us that all data will be destroyed and we will click OK. This process will take between 5 and 15 minutes based on the speed of your computer. Once the progress bar in Rufus is ready, we can click the Close button on the application. And now we have a fully bootable Manjaro Linux USB stick that's ready to install Manjaro onto any computer. I hope that this video helped you to create a Manjaro bootable USB stick on Windows 10 or 11. If this video helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps me out to keep creating more awesome content like this. My name is Lutetium Tech. Thanks for watching.